You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> the level of misplay here. I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the round soon. Doctor? What doctor? Broken wall? Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. This can't be real. Oh, it's real. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. <laughs> Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. This is not good. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. God. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. 
We have a very strict no fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> F me. Oh no. I don't like John Doe. John Doe is scary. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Why is John Doe being so calm? The first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> How could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patience to swap. <laughs> no, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, Dumbass! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of him. Alfred, come get me. Alfred, don't leave me in here. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not that a big Victor Zaz. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. I can handle myself. Oh, I know you can. But let's save that for later. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this?
No. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie. Cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> yes, I cracked it. <laughs> you got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Oh, okay. Not you. Sorry. Sorry. It's just. Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Arnold Wesker. Wait, that's the move you're going to make, huh? Where's Van Trilloquist? Hello. Hello. For Scarface. Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost! Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Lewis! That wasn't me. I, I, I'm sane, Lewis. And, and that was... That was crazy, Lewis. See? <laughs> What's that? That's not polite at all. At all. Doesn't work there. Doctor says that's against the rules. For the last time. I'm not mind control. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. time he cheats sees what I'm thinking mind control cheater I told you if I could read minds I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours <sighs> Bruce Wayne you've got quite a reputation around here Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. this. Hmm. Well, this key doesn't fit. What the hell is it for? We can never do that. Not to all of them anyway. Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. 
Well, actually, I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, two-faced... Ooh, he said it! ...with friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good run, right? This isn't gonna be any fun, if you just sit there. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on our frame page versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah, oh, oh my god! Won't someone save my baby? They should be selling tickets to this. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? And he is good. You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can you revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Nothing. You're not about to pass out on me, are you? I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. I'm trying to provoke him by not oh, buying into his on. chaos. I'm not making you uncomfortable, am I? It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham, Victoria. Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but 
You're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Nope. Just one. Nope. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. What a psycho! Burning needs to need to get rid of it. Stop! Someone, give me a sedative. Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true. But I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the Veils. Ask her parents. What's that about? I really hope he's in the rest of the game because that was awesome. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. 
Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your other job could become. I didn't think about it that way. Fuck him. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. We're done talking. What's going on here? Oh, this is not good. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. You can Pocket. still leave, and I would take advantage of that while both your kneecaps are still attached correctly. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Hufford, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? Well armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back off! Back off, people! Bruce! Hey! Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest. Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred!
That was kind of crazy. I had no good choice there. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? So you're just gonna leave me alone here to deal with him? That's right. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that, but boy are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with all of this. Bruh, it's, I'm down bad right now as Batman. This is terrible. to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. You'll be no good to anyone if you can barely keep your feet under you. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. This is I'll where you need Lucius. Lucius was able to give me the cure in the first... Oh, that was a different movie. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to... Sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. Why I did that on accident? That should do it. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. 
So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. There have been vipers at every turn recently. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. It's the best lead. Not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. I'm inside the Vale House. There's blood right there. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. 
Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. What would I connect? connect the logo to why am I caught on the couch how are you not allowed to go that way recent family photo Vicky's not in it it shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office there's a logo on the building there's the link match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose, nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. 
The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be all right. Why are you hiding? I heard screams. Lots of screams. So... so I hid. I didn't see what happened. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs? Fighting the police? I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Why did he say, please don't send Get me down. to punishment? Close. The hell? Nice work, kid. Oh, please don't use that as a way to get yourself hurt. Oh, he's scarred for life. They're dead. Oh, he's definitely scarred for life. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, 
Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? Just make sure he's taken care of and doesn't fall through the cracks. After what he's been through, he needs a good home. Yeah, I... I actually know the drill. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Veil Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. No, oh, don't, don't tell me Lucius on? betrays me. Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. Not anymore, you're not. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Bitch! You got checked. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. That Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. That would be... Catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. 
Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. What happened to the guy who cared about doing the right thing? This is the right thing, Bruce. Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. For the value of your estate, it could be used to do a lot of good. I'll pay this city back on my terms, not yours. Nah, I think I like my terms better. I'm sorry, Bruce, but I can't back down now. I've got a lot of pressure on me right now. I've got your enemies everywhere. And strong leaders crush their enemies without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. You're really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you, Harv? A new face for Gotham. And it's a face that will be remembered after what I do to the children of Arkham. What do you mean? Ready to go. Do it. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Oh, Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt with those drugs. That feels like an acceptable price to pay. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of that I'll do anything to protect my city. I understand now. The Harvey I was friends with was never real at all. You're a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. Huh? Wait, what? What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Tragic, but unsurprising. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. If you kill me, you better make sure I'm dead. Because if not, what I did to Cobblepot will look like child's play. Woo! Good to know.
Come on, keep walking. Wait. Shut up. Just wait. Just keep moving. Look at what you're doing. This is wrong, and you know hey. it. He said, shut up. Any way you cut this, this is murder. Is that what you want? This city is at war. Sometimes casualties are the cost of winning the war. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Yourself. You sound brainwashed. No. He hasn't brainwashed us. We're helping him. We're doing the right thing. The mayor's the only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... 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 But if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I, uh, um, maybe, uh, maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh, nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than This that. isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Denton just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Denton's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A but how did you find me? The city support behind him. The amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arca might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing that gets destroyed. Oh, we'll stop him. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. Just, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God. It's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. Here's a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I'm going home. Understood. See you soon. Please let me have Lucia staying at Wayne Enterprises save me. That's my only thought at this point. I left him there for a reason and I trust Lucius.
Not one step further. Now, oh, come on, Hal. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow, I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Hal, it's me, Harvey. You're not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. Murderer? When a general sends his troops to kill the enemy, no one calls it murder. They call it war. And if I to win the war against the children... <sighs> the Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old-fashioned way. Batman! What the hell are you doing here? You've destroyed enough lives for one night. I'm taking you in. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we were on the same side. Not anymore. What? But it was your intel that led me to the Children of Arkham's stockpile of drugs. You made me mayor when you saved me from that freak penguin, remember? Everything I've done, everything I am, wouldn't be possible without you. There would be no me without you. Let me save you again. Go back to City Hall, confess your crimes, and step down. Maybe the new DA will cut you a deal. A deal? I'm the only one who cuts deals in this town. If you can't see the good I've done for this city, then you're no better than Lady Arkham. Or the Waynes. Now get out of here! Before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. You're gonna need more than this, Harvey. I know. Oh my god, Terry Crews. You know what those are? Explosive slugs! Bet <laughs> you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours. Just try and hide, Batman. See how that works out for you. No! The bat's mine. <laughs> See what happens. This old man needs no. to die. No! No. No. Don't do it. Your head or your heart? That sound. What the? Bat! No! Bat! No! Get the hell off me! Without me, 
Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? The Penguin? The children of Arkham! As long as I'm around, Gotham will be fine. They don't need someone like you. No. I'm important. I'm... I'm important! Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for, he should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Den is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. In meantime, you stay safe out there, all right? You too, Jim. But how does half his face get burnt when only his arm got burnt? Damn it, Harvey. Al, what's Bruce, wrong? The computer. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. 